get back what's rightfully mine. Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic redcoats waiting for a beating! I will match your face in... Englishman, I'll give you what you want. Not it. You want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. people blind by decree of the British Parliament or not British Parliament I worked for William Johnson Johnson and his suffering cleanly 
things you lost. The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so.
Weapons ready! Lights, 